Hi, my name is Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I'm going to be talking about a lovely little utility device for coin magic called Bitcoin by James Keatley. Before we do this, I'd also like you to, uh, also, I haven't said anything yet, um, <laughs> I'd like you to look at onlinemagic.co. OnlineMagic.co is the thing that runs everything. Without that, there is no this. And if you love this, you're going to love that. Learn from a pro, OnlineMagic.co. Over 900 videos, special guests, live sessions every week, which are uploaded. So you usually get at least four hours uh, of new material every month, which is a lot, isn't it? There's coin magic, car magic, all sorts of things uh, on there. And mentalism. And uh, that, that's all I'm still going to say, because it'll get boring, won't it? Uh, right, do that. Have a look at that afterwards and like and subscribe. Now, I start every, re every review uh, by saying, sorry I've had this so long. <laughs> it's taken me ages to get around to this. But it's been lovely to play with. What this is, it's a coin magic utility device thing, meaning you can use it for loads of stuff. That's what it means, isn't it? I've really thought about it. <laughs> So it's not a trick per se, but you do get a couple of great routines with it. This was a bit of a hit at Blackpool. Um, Danny Goldsmith really liked it. There's a lovely quote on the site, uh, jackmagic.com, I think that's the site, uh, from him and it falling. And, and, and it is a kind of magician faller, but importantly, it's a spectator faller because we don't just want magicians fallers, do we? Magicians fallers? It's going to be one of them. Can't get my words out. So what is it? First of all, it requires this. This is a gimmick. And this allows you to produce a coin, a dollar coin. And I'll tell you what you get with your, with your set or sets in a minute. Sets in a minute. Uh, very lispy today as well. I don't know why. So you get your gimmick here. That allows you to produce a coin, show your hands empty. You use just your magic wand or whatever, produce a coin. It also allows you to do a visual production of a coin so you, the coin through table um, and all manner of things and there is loads of stuff on the download Craig Petty's as he tends to does loads and loads of different ways of doing it and really sort of workshops it and explores it some better than others uh, loads of ideas from other people on there Henry Harris has got like a bar bet idea um, who else was it? Oh, Doug Conn uh, has got a thing on there and loads of different performances, loads of performances from Blackpool, so you really get an, an idea of what you can do with it. But, but after the download, you'll start coming up with other ideas. And I do say this about some things, but a lot of you know, things that I review don't really spark that creativity. With this, I played with it and started coming up with some different ideas and then stopped wanting to do the review. But I just realised there was, there's lots of visual things you can do uh, with this. And non-visual, you know, you can use it for kind of things like matrixes. Now, of course, a matrix is visual, but you're, but what you're doing isn't seen. So there's a matrix in there. Elliot Girard has a, a coin, coin through glass in there, which is really, really nice. I think some of them, you know, you'll kind of go on because you've got to bring this into play. And that's the thing about this. It's, it's all about this. This has got to be involved. And my feeling is that it needs to be kind of incidental. There's quite a nice thing, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but, you, you know, you've got a pack of cigarettes on the bar. So in an informal situation, if you smoke, and again, I'm not saying you should, but you can have that there, pick that up, coin vanishes, ends up in a box of cigarettes, then ends up under the lighter, all that kind of thing. You can use it as a magic wand. I do this with a Sharpie a lot, you know, the, the, the Sharpie and the coin routine. You can do all that stuff. But if you want to do the, uh, the coin thing, by the way, it can be in a deck of cards. It doesn't have to be in a cigarette box. It's going to work for very few people, isn't it? But I think it's nice to, to mix this, you know, like uh, Lee Smith's got some nice stuff with lighters. David Stone's got his quit smoking routine. So to do a kind of, you know, uh, lighter routine with a big lighter, then you've got it. Then you've got a reason to have it. Uh, you can also and then you can switch it. You'd have to kind of switch it in or depending on what routine you're going to do. I also uh, came up with a thing of doing flash paper. So if you have a, a routine involving flash paper, then you've already got the light route to light the flash paper. Therefore, it's there instead of, oh, I used up but, and the coin appears. So when you first get this or see this, you might go, well, I don't want to get use a lighter, but there are ways of justifying it. And I do think with this, you kind of have to, unless you kind of look for something and it's there, but th this is going to be involved in everything. And that's why some of those routines for me don't really justify it that much. It's kind of in your hand and you're kind of going, well, 
it doesn't didn't quite play well for me but they're not the main routines anyway that was just a stuff of of kind of workshopping it so i think it's magical i think it looks great to show your hands empty tap and produce a coin the production of the coin the coin through table idea is great all good and if you can if you're happy with using a lighter you're gonna really like this and come up with loads of ideas you also get a jumbo coin well let's that's a good time to kind of go with what you get in this you get Morgan dollar and they're lovely um, a Morgan jumbo coin now this is really important this is slightly smaller than the three inch coin and I really like that it makes a big difference it's also you know some of them are kind of got they're kind of painted and they just don't look quite right this looks like a big version of that it's really really nice to handle you know it kind of it I don't know if that looks good in angles but it's it's nice to to kind of play with now you're not going to have to do all that kind of stuff but I'm going to use this for other things as well it also fits with the coin dropper I got from TCC was it TCC no it wasn't it was oh I can't remember anyway um it fits with that coin dropper a lot better than some jumbo coins as well so that's brilliant so you get that that great coins you get the gimmick coin um which is important they're really expensive anyway so when you look at the price of this you're getting all that with it so it kind of starts making sense you get extra bands if you're a coin worker you know what i mean 20 extra bands the bands are lighter than most bands for this sort of thing um so that's kind of that that's uh, something to think about as well you get some sort of black tack uh, and that's if you want to do a certain the coin through table thing and deposit the coin in a way that's quite cool and you get a silencer and that means you know sometimes when you do the thing there is some sound with it i don't mind that in 99.9 .9 cases there there's kind of ambient sound in a room so that's fine i won't bother using that uh, and if you do use that you can't do the convincer thing which is putting the lighter down like that afterwards and everything seem normal after you've done the production or whatever it is whatever way you're doing it uh, I really like it I think it's not the most versatile thing in the world especially if you go on to the phase two version which is brilliant and I think this is the one that you know fooled everybody and it just looks great so you get that and you get that with the phase two version you always get a couple of other things as well but I can't remember what but that this is the main thing so this is the thing where the the coin appears under the cup and you know you approach the table or you, your situation or you've already got a a drink and uh and the, the the coin is underneath which is lovely you know anything under a cup in a spectator's hand importantly of course but you'll see that on the trailer as well it's just a really really strong finish so if you want you can just do repeat produce the coin uh get rid of it <laughs> vanish it <laughs> <laughs> it's a chapter in a coin magic book getting rid of coins uh vanish the coin and it appears in the spectator's hand brilliant really really strong really really good stuff they're not gonna have a clue there's more to this than meets the eye so again with everything else it's been really uh, carefully designed this has also this cup has something about it that allows you to do what you want to do and uh, allow the the coin to be in the spectator's hand and then not know basically so it's all great it's all brilliant it's not going to be for everybody you do need to be able to handle coins for this you know you, you craig goes really into detail about how to do a vanish and how to do you know, a, a basic vanish and different kinds of vanishes which is great so if you're not in a coin magic and you get this you'll be able to start learning but you're not going to be able to do this straight away you need to be able to handle coins you need to be able to handle spectators and you need to be proficient and confident there's no really difficult slights in this you know switches which are easy if you know how to do them if you've practiced a little bit you know vanishes that are pretty basic but you need to rehearse or you need to feel confident with it but if you're a coin worker you do a little bit with coins you're going to be able to go out with this pretty much straight away so there you go lovely bit of kit loads you can do with it very versatile other than the fact you're going to have to have that with what with liquid in it so for some situations it's not versatile but the versatility is in all the different ways you can do the fate all the phase one stuff uh, without the cup and that but then if you want to go and do that specifically you pay a little bit extra and you get that and i think it's kind of worth it actually you get a lot for your for your money even though it does look like an expensive bit of kit and uh i've, I've really enjoyed using it and I'll, I'll take it out of play right thanks very much thank you for that today's bitcoin please use the links below if you're going to get it and any questions i always miss loads out or waffle on and you don't know what i'm talking about sometimes uh 
So ask them and I'll answer them in a Thursday session. Live sessions are at five here. They're not at the moment because it's summer. I'm all over the place, but we will be back up and running soon. And I've just turned 50 and it's been a prolonged celebration, which is lovely. Right. Thanks very much. Have a great one. Go and have a look at onlinemagic.co after having a look at this. Cheers.